In this example, we want to find the derivative of y equals to the square root of x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, so to do this, we need to apply the general power rule, which is what you see in this box here. So given that y is equal to, a, uh, to u of x raised to the n power, and assuming that u is a differentiable function here, okay, then what we can do is we can uh, we bring down the n, okay, and then we're going to have n times u of x all to the power of n minus 1. And then we take the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay. So let's apply that to, uh, to this function here. So we have y equals to, so this is the same as x squared minus 2x plus 1 all raised to the 1 half power. Okay. So the derivative, so we're going to take the derivative, so we're going to have dy dx, or the derivative of y with respect to x, it's going to be 1 half, okay, so we're going to bring down the 1 half, times x squared minus 2x plus 1, we can subtract um, 1 from 1 half, so that's going to leave us with a negative 1 half, and then we take the derivative of the inside part. Okay, all right, so that is applying the general power rule, okay? So now we just need to go ahead and uh, go ahead and take that derivative of x squared minus 2x plus 1. So we're going to have 1 half times x squared minus 2x plus 1 all to the power of negative 1 half. And then we have the derivative of this, which is going to be uh, 2x minus 2 okay so simplifying this okay this is going to give us uh, 2x minus 2 all divided by 2 times okay we can go ahead and take the x squared minus 2x plus 1 to the negative half uh, we can put that into the denominator and that will change it to a positive one half so that will be the square root then Okay, and then we can go ahead and factor out 2 from the numerator. Okay, so the, the 2's will cancel out. Okay, and that will leave us with x minus 1 all divided by square root of x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, so x squared minus 2x plus 1 turns out to be a, uh, uh, we can, we turn out that's factorable. Uh, we can, in fact, it's going to give us a perfect, uh, perfect square. Okay, so this is x minus 1 squared. So then from here, we have x minus 1 all divided by the square root of x minus 1 squared. Okay, and then taking the square root of that expression, we're going to end up getting the square root of x minus 1. I'm sorry, this not the square root, the absolute value. Okay. Okay, so the square root of, of x minus 1 squared will give us the absolute value of x minus 1. Okay, and that's coming from this property. If we take the square root of x squared, that is equal to the absolute value x. Okay, because we don't know the sign of x. Could, so the sign of x could be positive or negative. Okay, so from here we can simplify a little bit more um, just by using the definition of the absolute value. Okay, all right, so looking at the absolute value of x minus 1, okay, so basically remember this is the absolute value of x shifted over one unit to the to the right. Okay. All right, so there's a turning point at 1. So this is going to be x minus 1 if x is strictly bigger or equal to 1. And it's going to be minus x plus 1 if x is strictly less than 1. Okay. Okay, so using this definition, uh, we can simplify this some more. Okay, so if, okay, so looking at 
So first of all, um, x can't be 1 for, for this result here. Okay, so we should make note of that. Okay, if it was 1, then we get 0 in the denominator. Okay, so the first case is to look at uh, if, you know, uh, if x is strictly bigger than 1, okay, then we get x minus 1 all over x minus 1. Okay, so that's going to give us 1. If x is strictly less than 1, then we get x minus 1 all divided by, okay, negative x plus 1. So that is equal to x minus 1 over, we can take out a negative on the bottom, and that will leave us with an x minus 1. And then that's going to give us minus 1, okay? So the derivative, okay, for this, okay, can be simplified as, Okay, as 1 if x is bigger than 1 and negative 1 for x less than 1. Okay, so in other words, we have, so that was the result we got from, from up here. Okay, so this is going to be equal to 1 if x is strictly bigger than 1 and negative 1 if x is strictly less than 1. Okay, and again, uh, we should make note that x can be equal to 1. Okay. Okay. All right. So that is uh, that is the derivative of our uh, of our function. Okay. So so again, we write the expression uh, using a fractional exponent, and then apply the general power rule. So okay. So we take down the power, subtract one from that power, and then take the derivative of the inside part. Okay, and then from there we just go ahead and simplify it, um, and then we can simplify further using the definition of the absolute value. Okay, all right, so that is our result.